de los sueños. Whenever you get a chance to visit um, an indigenous community, of course you jump at the chance. And in this case, I had no time to get my camera, so this is totally being filmed with an iPhone 5. But we're near uh, a town called Peru Ibe, on the coast of uh, Brazil, near Sao Paulo. And uh, Peru Ibe means the Bay of Sharks, but the more ancient terminology has a meaning of the way to Peru. And there's a pre-contact, pre-European trail or, or road that goes from here all the way to Cusco, which is fascinating. Some would say that would be an Inca trail, but it's likely much older than the Inca because we're a long way from, from Cusco. So it could be an ancient connection between the Atlantic Ocean and the pre-Inca megalithic city of Cusco. Esse é um instrumento musical, né? Chocalho. Maraca. As maracas. Maraca. Esse é o que é o interior. E aqui é o dibuja. O dibuja. So these people actually have quite a, a huge piece of, uh, of property. It's uh, virgin rainforest. There are only 30 of, of these people in this village. The young man that we met is the, the chief. And in traditional fashion, they only use from this forest what they require, what they need. They, you know, of course, they could easily sell the land off to land developers for whatever, hotels or suburbs, but they've decided to keep the land intact. You can't walk into this rainforest <coughs> easily. It's so dense that only trails can lead you in. And it's a testimony in the 21st century that there's still indigenous people who maintain the philosophy of their ancestors, and that is that they do not own the land. They use what they need from the land, and that's, that's it. I think the rest of us could learn a lesson or two from that. So now we do have evidence that there is a, a or some ancient trails or roads that go from the Atlantic Ocean all the way to Cusco. People have a tendency to think that there was only a Pacific connection from the Pacific coast up to Cusco. But now the uh, oral traditions of this area near Peru Ibe in um, Brazil state that there is an Atlantic connection. That makes the whole story far more intriguing and something I'm going to definitely have to pursue. <laughs> Sim, existe um caminho sagrado, né, que eles falam, é um caminho, a estrada de, de pedra, né? É um caminho, é it's a road, it's a, it's a sacred road and that road is made of stones that goes all the way from here to Peru. Where where in Peru? Que que parte de Peru nos leva esse caminho? Olha, eu, eu não sei exatamente. A gente ainda está em pesquisa porque é, vários povos ligaram esse caminho. Né? Principalmente os povos do litoral, os povos é, que se, se dispersaram mais para o lado do Rio de Janeiro. Eles se encontravam todos nesse caminho né? e tinha essa passagem sagrada que chegava até os povos da, da América inteira, que trilhavam esse caminho. That was a sacred road that unite all the, the different um, towns or different cultures or civilizations from the Americas. And they would move from the Atlantic Ocean into the Pacific Ocean, into all, within the, within the, the whole Americas. Wow, so this is very ancient? Uh, it's muy, muy antiguo, right? Sí. Sí. It's very ancient.
São Paulo, Cananeia e Santa Catarina. Esse é o que você 